Much like this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Lance is still in the extreme chopper following the Sandman. He's just driving around with the lights and siren on in the ambulance. Lights go out in the ring, which was a foreshadowing, actually. Lawler is in the ring when he comes back. He does repeat the exact same promo he cut earlier. In all seriousness, do you think Jerry Lawler knew that Steve Austin used to wrestle in ECW? I'm sure he did. You know the funny thing about this match? First off, I thought this was like the best match Dude, on the show. Jerry Lawler is so ridiculously good. Jerry mm-hmm. Lawler was uh, arguably the best worker on the show. Uh, no, not arguably. Well, I say arguably because we also had Dory Funk who did a run-in. Uh, and it was see. fucking incredible gotcha. at 56 years old. Yes. Okay. But like Jerry Lawler, first off, the thing with Jerry Lawler is everything about this Jerry Lawler and ECW was awesome because it was it was billed as like a, a WWF invasion and there's 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 two types of fans there's the fans who think that Jerry Lawler was nothing but a announcer with a crown and a cartoon character and the idea that this fucking guy was going to come to ECW it's like just heat okay mm-hmm. but then there's the other type of fan that knows the history of Jerry Lawler and how this shit is right up his alley. Oh, yeah. And uh, But then, for those fans, he's a fucking hypocrite because he's yep. sitting here talking about how this is extreme crappy wrestling, all this shit and garbage and blah, blah, blah. And fuck, he came in and had a, a Memphis brawl with this Tommy Dreamer who can take a fucking beating. And I just was in awe watching this match. Lawler was so fucking fucking good in this match yeah and the fans just hated this guy although there were a scattering of fans that were chanting for lawler because they fucking realized how awesome he how was great he is yes but goddamn this was the best match on the show yep he was just fucking awesome and uh i didn't like that they kicked out of the pile driver like it was nothing mm-hmm. like joey styles freaked out but it was it was almost like just a spot in the middle of the match yes it was like jerry's beating on him and then finally hits the 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 fucking pile driver and uh, and Dreamer just kicks out, and then Lawler just gets back on him again. And they had the, well, you we'll can get, get, the fin- you we'll can get, get the into the rigmarole. Yeah, there's that's a good word. The, the 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 body of the match is just tremendous. Dreamer hits the ring, and Lawler jumps him and starts working him over. And nobody ever threw punches better than Jerry Lawler until, unbeknownst to him, uh, Dreamer is holding a hubcap. And so when Lawler rears back for the big haymaker, Dreamer just holds the hubcap up in front of his face, and Lawler punches it and sells his hand. And Dreamer fires back, and Lawler's selling and bumping all over the place. He's screaming for his punches. He's bleeding all over early. And it's all crowd brawling, and everyone's beer gets thrown on Lawler. Everyone's sandwich is rubbed in his face. They're not using chairs or uh, uh, stairs or tables. They're using light weapons like cookie sheets and hubcaps and belts. And... Uh, <laughs> Lawler is just the best asshole heel. You know what's so great about Lawler, too, when I was watching this, was I just thought, fuck, this is why everybody needs to learn how to work. Sure. Because if you can work... I'll give you an example, okay? I watch, I watch like, AW. I watch Dynamite and Rampage. And I'm just like, I could never do this. Like, yeah. I couldn't do it. I could not do what these guys do. Then I watched Jerry Lawler and ECW, and I'm like, maybe I could make a comeback. <laughs> because I was not in any universe as good as Jerry Lawler, but I was watching Jerry Lawler, and it really hit me. If you can work, you can work anywhere with anyone, mm-hmm. and you can actually steal the show. Yeah. Jerry fucking Lawler stole the show at an ECW pay-per-view. And granted, they did some hardcore shit, but they didn't do a lot. But they did enough. They did exactly what needed to be done. Lawler was just a fucking master in this match. He was so awesome. And you could also tell he was having the time of his life. Yes. I, I know he was still working Memphis the whole time, but he had been for many years, for most wrestling fans, the goofy comedy heel announcer on Raw. And this was his chance for the biggest audience he'd had in a while to go out and be a great wrestler. And he was loving it. As we were talking about on Sunday, we were talking about that show that we went to with Dusty against Jerry Lawler. They didn't do a thing in the match, and the match was They fantastic. didn't do jack they did shit, and it was great. Less than nothing, yes. Yes. So I'm really, really loving this, and then I'm a huge fan of Paul Heyman as an on-screen character. I am significantly less of a fan of Paul Heyman as a booker because he loves to do shit like this. They can't just have two guys fighting a winner. It has to be rigmarole. Well, it's not just that, but it's like, 
I'm okay with a little bit of rigmarole. Yes. But this was uh, 50 fucking things happened. Yes. So the lights go out again, as they did when Lawler came out, and they come back on. Rick Rude is there with a the trash can. So he's there to help Lawler win, right? He hits Tommy Dreamer with a trash can and lays him out, and then he just leaves. He doesn't, see me. He doesn't, he doesn't follow through to see the job is done. There's a reason for him to go, but he just leaves. Mm-hmm. So that's not the finish. The match keeps going. Lights go out again, and this time... Jake the Snake Roberts is in the ring. And no exaggeration, Jake Roberts looks better in 2021 than he did in 1997. Yeah. He, the crowd is totally stoked to see him. Thrilled to see Jake Roberts here. He DDT's Dreamer and then cuts a promo about how your God giveth and taketh away. My God giveth, but ain't got the balls to do anything else. He may I, not have been in a proper state of mind. I don't know what that meant, yes. Yeah. But so he also clotheslines Lawler. He hates both guys. So he leaves. Then the lights go out a third time, and now even the crowd is sick of this shit. Like, dude, we get it. You have a light switch. Congratulations. This time, Sonny's in the ring. She sprays Brandon Cutler's cold spray in Tommy's eyes. There's the Sonny Beulah cat fight. Lawler... Going out as he came in, the best cowardly heel ever. He goes after Beulah. He teases a pile driver, but when he realizes Dreamer's to his feet, he hides behind her. Just awesome. But she hits him in the nuts. Tommy squeezes his nuts, and then Tommy hits a DDT and wins. The place goes crazy, and despite the piles and piles <laughs> and piles of bullshit at the end, this is the best thing in the show by a mile. You know, there were piles of bullshit, but at the end of the day, the piles of bullshit were there to make you believe that Jerry the King Lawler was winning. And at the end of the day, he did not win. And the fans were so happy, and they went crazy. And as much as I could have done without all of the rigmarole, I did get to see uh, Dory Funk Jr. do a run-in. So at the end of the day, I'm fine with that. That's not this match. It wasn't? No. Oh, there was so much rigmarole, I got my rigmarole confused. But anyway, I liked that the fans were happy with what they did at the end. And that's that's what matters in the end. Now, my favorite part of this match was Tommy was just laying it into Jerry, and he's just whipping him. And then Jerry starts to fire up, and he gets a stern look on his face, and he takes a step back, and he pulls the strap down, and then he does a flare flop. Yes. It was fantastic. It was great. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.